An emotional memorial service is underway right now in Charlottesville, Virginia, for the woman who was killed by a white supremacist who rammed his car into a crowd of protesters. Her mom with a message to the mourners. They tried to kill my child to shut her up. Well, guess what? You just magnified her. Hi everyone, I'm Erin Kennedy. Marissa is on assignment. As we to Jang reports, hundreds turned out to remember Heather Heyer. Mourners are honoring the life of 32-year-old Heather Heyer at a memorial service in Charlottesville, Virginia. The family is humbled and deeply grateful for the outreach and the outpouring of love from the community. You always saw the good in other people. People I would have cut out of my life, but you refused to give up on them. Your patience was heroic. Organizers asked people to wear purple, Hire's favorite color. This mother and daughter were first in line this morning, their family home just a few doors down from Hire's. It was very emotional for me. Hire is being remembered for standing up to white supremacists who stormed her hometown over the weekend. She wanted equality. And in this issue, of the day of her passing. She wanted to put down hate. She was killed when a car slammed into the counter protesters. Police say 20 year old Alex Fields Jr. drove the vehicle into the crowd on purpose. He's facing multiple charges, including second degree murder for Hire's death. Police stepped up security outside the Memorial Theater amid rumors that white supremacists may try to disrupt the event. White nationalists, neo-Nazis, and the KKK held the largest white supremacist rally in a decade in Charlottesville. They built it as a Unite the Right rally to protest the removal of a Robert E. Lee statue. But the march quickly turned violent when counter-protesters showed up to demonstrate against the hate groups. More than 30 people were injured in the clashes and car crash. Weijia Jiang, CBS 2 News.